clicking with you right now in this defense that's allowed you to kind of increase your game? Uh, I won't say it's one specific thing. It's really everything. Just like I say all the time, uh, me trusting what the coaches want me to do and just going out there and playing uh, faster because that's one thing I was kind of unfamiliar in a lot of things. And, you know, every week you add something new. So just building on one thing every day, getting that one percent better to become one to know is just it's just helping. Do you feel it? I mean, like week by week, do you feel like, OK, I, I got this this week. I'm getting this next week. I'm kind of learning new things every week. Does it feel like a, just a steady learning process for you? Oh, most definitely. One thing I will say that helps me a lot is uh, we get goal cards at the beginning of every week. Right. Everybody we play, it has one and one. And then it's five goals that you have to put. So I know my last goal is always to beat the opponent that we play. My first goal is to be faster and stronger than the week before. And I try to make it as consistent as possible every week. So I know and it, it's been showing it's been going the way I want it to go. And usually when things work out the way you want it and the way expected, you, you feel me, you just got to keep on building. You know what I mean? The confidence level goes up. It helps you play faster, you know, feel stronger and actually feel like more part of the team, like I'm helping more with my production. And I feel like me, not only me, but the team can't be stopped. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Do those goals change based on the opponent you play? Like when you're playing a team that has a quarterback like Drake May, or is there, are there things that you're like, you know what, I'm going to focus on being better in these specific areas this week compared to when you're playing someone like Malik Cunningham? Um. Honestly, no, uh, I'm not trying to downgrade these players, but but not really, because my thought process, our thought process every week, of course, you know, we're going to have certain players to stop their offense, but at the same time, we're going out there and we're working harder. Like, the harder you work, you know, of course, you're going to adjust a few things, but at the same time, we know that we got to work, and everybody's human. Mm -hmm. Of course, we got to treat them a little different. Like I said, we're going to add a few nicks in there, but if we run fast, we play hard, we hit hard, like, we can really beat anybody. But your personal preparation, does that differ week to week depending on opponent or no? Not at all. No. I work hard all the time. That's how I got to be. North Carolina is putting up some big numbers. What was it like for you and your, your guys to sit down and study on video what they've been doing so far? Um, like I said, it's, just, it's not really different. We, we don't, I don't want to say we look at each opponent the same, but we look at the same. Because we athletic just like them. We work hard just like them. So it's like we go out, we're going to hit him hard just like we hit Malik. And if he don't get up, then by all means, that's, that's not our problem. But we're going to do what we do as a defense. Does a road matchup against the best offense in the conference, one of the best you know, offenses in the country, does that get you a little bit more excited? You, you've said multiple times now we look at every opponent the same. But you can't tell me you don't get a little bit more juiced up when you see the hype surrounding your opponent going into their place. Oh, yeah, no doubt. And especially being like, how, much, how many yards does he have this season? Like 2,000 plus? You know, they're, 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 that's what I'm saying. Their offense is, is crazy. And my thing is, their schedule is for a homecoming. This is the second homecoming game in a, in a row. Like, you got to feel some kind of disrespect. And as a defense, like, we sat down and we saw whenever Coach Dudes put it up, and it's like, damn, another homecoming? Like, are they doing this on purpose? Like, they think just because, you know, we lost a few games, like, it's over. No, nah, we're going to go out there. We're going to do what we do. Like, work hard, play hard. And the outcome, it, it, it has to happen. You know what I mean? We're not working hard for no reason. And I have faith that, like, it will happen. You guys are 4-3. and three, mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of guys picked you guys as, you know, as, as coast fav favorites to win the Coastal. Obviously, there's a disappointment there. Now you get this chance to kind of rewrite the script, a team that, you know, has earned national recognition going into their house, primetime football. Is there an extra gear that you guys have kind of hit this week? Is there anyone in the locker room that's kind of, like, banging lockers, being like, yo, this ain't the week to play around? Everybody, and for some odd reason, it's like, uh, I don't want to say it's the flu, but I just heard a call back there. It's like, yeah. people, you, you know, you're kind of feeling it, and you walk in the locker room, it's like, man, you see our record, you see we're not doing too high. You would think that people would be like, man, like, I really don't want to practice. Nah, everybody walking around talking about we about to have a Jordan flu game, you know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm with it if y'all with it. Like, let's do it. <laughs> let's go get it. So we, we really excited about it. Like, it's prime time, another 8 o'clock game, you feel me? You think you're losing. Like, we gonna, everybody going to be watching that game. And we're going to put on like we do every week. Tyler, the offense is working through a few things. Does it feel like there's more pressure on the defense or you guys have to be perfect, if you will? I wouldn't even really say perfect because you're never really going to have a perfect game, but we can do all that we can do. I was actually just climbing with Keaton. I told him he had the face of America, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like He got that face, like an all-American man. Uh, we was just laughing. So, I mean, and like Coach Dude says all the time, like, I trust those guys. If we don't trust them, then, like, we're not a whole team. To win, we all got to be together. And like when we lose, you may look on the sideline, people be sad. We win with class, we lose with class. We win together, we lose together. 
So I'm with them boys 100%. Like, we practice hard. If y'all have seen us out there, it's like, we going full speed, like, hitting each other. Tough Tuesday. We going at it. And like I said, it, it will click. And I'm t- it's going to click this weekend. And y'all, y'all hear me out. It's going to click this weekend. Watch. What did Keaton say when you said uh, you got the face of America? It was an all-American smile. <laughs> you should have seen it for, look, for ear to ear. <laughs> you should have seen it. Y'all have loved it. <laughs> How's he carried himself? Like, you're not his... You're not on his side of the ball, but you know he's had some rough performances, and he, you know, he had a couple of interceptions that were that were rough this week. How have you seen him, just as a teammate, how he's handled some adversity? He's working harder. That's one thing I will say. Uh, it's never like a man. I did this. Man, I did that. When we do talk, it's like, yo, keep your head up. We got you. We're gonna take care of you. And guess what? He, he keep going. He's trusting the process. And as players, as coaches, that's all we can do. Cause. We're not going to make the perfect play. They're not going to make the perfect call. But if we all meet in the middle, it's going to happen. You know what I mean? So nobody's out here blaming Keaton like, oh, he's this, he's that. No, we love Keaton. We're going to embrace him because guess what? Same people, and I'm trying to watch what I say, you know, it's media. But the same people who's saying, oh, Keaton's this, Keaton's that, we cutting that social media off, and we're going to cut it back on when we start winning, and everybody's going to be like, oh, yeah, we love Keaton Slovis. Blah. <laughs> and that's how it's going to be. And guess what? Just like whenever they, they was down on him, we with him. When they're going to be talking up on him, we're going to be with him. Where does all your optimism come from? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that. I'm always like this, but it is, it's seldom that I'm down. And I, I get it from my parents, you know, because, like, growing up, I've really been through a lot, like a lot. And if you know my journey, I'm not going to say I'm not supposed to be here, but I'm a blessed kid. So every morning waking up, being able to come play with these guys, play on the ACC level, live out my dreams it, it may be the end you never know i may have a chance at the next level but i'm gonna give myself like the best chance to continue to play the sport that i love does your optimism <laughs> maybe come partially from what you see in the locker room from from your teammates oh no doubt no doubt if you if you ever get a chance to come sit in that linebacker room it's never a dull moment so if you walk in there mad it's just you, you want to be mad like you it smiles every day jokes every day it's, the environment is crazy i love it here you show up early in the morning, five in the morning, however early you guys show up to get ready for for your days. Who's the first guy you see in there that, that that's that's in the, it's in there already working out? Is there anybody that's like consistently the, that first guy who gets it before everyone else? Yes, Shane, hmm. Shane Simon. Yes, it's crazy because I feel like he'd be here before the coaches. I think before the trainers maybe. Yeah, so I don't ask him for rides ever. <laughs> 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 but like, like I said, it's like. It shows the way he plays. You know, he does his job. Players that come to me, make him. Like a great coach once told me, uh, be where you're supposed to be, doing what you're supposed to be doing. You feel me? Good things will happen to you. And that's what he does. That's what yeah. we all trying to do, and it's going to all work, you know? Tyler, if you see guys down, do you share that, your optimism? Do you try to motivate guys? Do you kind of take that type of role with this team? Uh, No doubt. Because, you know, you, you can't expect everybody to just come in happy. And it's the same thing with me. Like, when I'm down, everybody coming to me like, what's wrong with you? Like, why are you, you walking around moping and stuff? Like, this is not you. Get right. So, like, if I see somebody down, like, even Servasier, and especially people who you know bring that energy to the team, like Buddy Mac, like Servasier Dennis, Bengali, come on, anybody who I see, and it's like, yo, we got to come together because if you don't go out there happy and with it on your mind, you're not going to get better. And circumstances we under, you can't waste a day. From day one, we couldn't waste a day. Now it's even more pressing, the situation, and we know we got to win. So, like, it's even going to be more. I'm going to be more energetic, like, more enthusiastic. I have to be. 